The 27th of January 1945, a day that the majority of people will simply see as just another day on the calendar. On the 27th of January 1945, Auschwitz-Birkenau, the largest Nazi death camp, was liberated and the beginning of the end of the Holocaust was signalled. The Holocaust saw the systematic mass murder of six million Jews alongside millions of other minority groups under the Nazi regime. Every year on the 27th of January, this darkest moment in human history is remembered. Thousands of people come together to learn about the past and take action to create a safer future. Together we bear witness for those who endured genocide and honour the survivors and all those whose lives were changed beyond recognition. The theme for Holocaust Memorial Day 2021 is Be the Light in the Darkness. It encourages everyone to reflect on the depths humanity can sink to, but also the ways individuals and communities resisted that darkness to be the light before, during and after genocide. Be the light in the darkness is an affirmation and a call to action for everyone marking Holocaust Memorial Day. This theme asks us to consider different kinds of darkness. For example, identity-based persecution, misinformation, denial of justice, and different ways of being the light. For example, resistance, acts of solidarity, rescue, and illuminating mistruths. Increasing levels of denial, division, and misinformation in today's world mean we must remain vigilant against hatred and identity-based hostility. Rapid technological developments, a turbulent political climate, and world events beyond our control can leave us feeling helpless and insignificant. The utterly unprecedented times through which we are currently living are showing the very best of which humanity is capable of. But also, in some of the abuse and conspiracy theories being spread on social media, the much darker side of our world as well. We can all stand in solidarity, we can choose to be the light in the darkness in a variety of ways and places. Even in the darkest depths of the Holocaust, there were numerous stories of prisoners being a light in the darkness. And I want to tell you the story of one such remarkable individual. Kitty Hart Moxon and her family lived in the Polish city of Bielsko. But when the German armies arrived, old resentments resurfaced and the Polish citizens also turned against the Jewish population. Kitty and her family fled to Lublin and were herded into the ghetto, which was horrendously overcrowded. Living conditions were unbearable. There were roundups, deportations, starvation and an epidemic of typhus and cholera. Kitty's mother made contact with a Catholic priest in the city and risked her life to teach English in the church in return for food. The Catholic priest, Father Krasowski obtained non-Jewish identity documents for the family and worked out a survival plan. But unfortunately, Kitty had to part with her father, who was later betrayed and executed. Kitty and her mother's new documents were accepted and they were sent to an ammunition plant in Germany. However, they were betrayed by a fellow worker who became suspicious of their Polish accents. They were charged with entering Germany illegally and with being Jewish. Each offence carried the death penalty and they were lined up to be executed by the firing squad. At the last moment, whilst they were stood at the firing wall, their death sentence was commuted to life imprisonment in Auschwitz. On arrival, they were shaved and tattooed. From then on, Kitty and her mother had no names. They were simply numbers 39934 and 39933. For many months, Kitty was assigned to dozens of hard labour work groups and her mother was given a job in the camp hospital. In the spring of 1944, Kitty was transferred to work near the gas chambers, which were the centre of extermination in Auschwitz-Birkenau. For eight months, she worked in the doomed Canada commando, sorting the clothes and belongings stripped from the Jews murdered in the nearby gas chambers. Kitty and her mother not only survived Auschwitz, but also two evacuations and journeys across Europe to other labour camps. In that time, they helped many fellow prisoners to survive. Of the 100 women evacuated with Kitty and her mother from Auschwitz, only 12 were still alive when the women were liberated on the 14th of April 1945 by the Americans. 
Kitty's story is remarkable, but why is she a light in the dark? Immediately after liberation, Kitty and her mother began to work as interpreters, first to the US forces, then to the British military government, and later for the Quaker relief teams. Following a year and a half in the displaced persons camps, they were given permits to come to the UK. Kitty gives many talks about her war years. She works closely with the Holocaust Education Trust and has received an OBE for her work in education. She finds talking in schools especially rewarding, but why? She says, because discrimination and bullying starts in the playground, some say you need to start teaching early. If you don't, you miss the train. I believe it can happen anywhere, anytime to anybody. People have learned little from past events. They have not learned what racial discrimination can lead to. Kitty lost 30 members of her family in the Holocaust. But despite this, in a successful career as a nurse, Kitty has spent her life educating people about the Holocaust. She has written books, made documentaries and campaigned successfully to get to the Holocaust on the national curriculum in the hope that future genocides may be prevented. This year's Holocaust Memorial Day theme asks us all to recognise that the responsibility for genocide education and prevention does not lie only with survivors sharing their testimonies. Their experiences hold lessons for all of us and it is vital that we listen to their experiences and become witnesses for them. As distortions and denial increase, facing the extent and nature of the crimes committed to reveal the true truth of genocide and genocidal regimes is more important than ever. These images were taken in America on the 7th of January this year. The slogan on the right states that six million wasn't enough. Our lights are more powerful than ever, especially when we work together. Holocaust Memorial Day enables us to remember for a purpose. It gives us a responsibility to work for a safer, better future for everyone. Everyone can step up and use their talents to tackle prejudice, discrimination and intolerance wherever we encounter them. Thank you for listening.